A groundbreaking was held May 5th along the Hudson River in Yonkers at 159 Alexander Street for Extel Development's $585 million Hudson Piers mixed-use project on a 17.4-acre parcel. The project, which will be developed in three phases over a six-year period, is expected to create 200 permanent jobs and 450 to 500 construction jobs. The Business Journal learned that the first building may open late next year. The development will provide approximately 870,000 rentable square feet of residential space, or more than 1,100 apartments, across six buildings, each seven stories, with more than 37,000 rentable square feet of ground floor retail space. In addition, there will be green space and a new riverfront esplanade. Yonkers Mayor Mike Spano was among the speakers. Hudson Piers will be one of the most transformative developments that this city has seen. And part of the nearly, and it's also part of the nearly five billion investments that we have seen, private dollars that have uh, been invested in our city over the past couple of years. It's crowning jewel of this unprecedented development along our seashore. We have a four and a half mile sea seashore here, and take a look at it. People want to be here. They want to live here. They want to raise their children here. They want to be a part of all the great things that are happening. Um, I want to say thank you to the many organizations, obviously not just to Extel for their investment in our city, but I want to say thank you to, uh, to the members of the IDA and the IDA board. I see Jamie McGill from the IDA, uh, the, uh, the members of our team the planning and development team, the building department, uh, all those who really were a part of making this all happen. And um, our investments are working, and we're seeing the fruits of our labor. It's happening in Yonkers. We continue to be that city. We are that city that people are interested in and interested and want to be a part of all the great things that are happening. So. Uh, we saw the beauty of the Hudson River and, and the opportunity, and I guess it must go back about 10 years ago uh, when I first came up here and saw the plastics factory that I think at that time was operating and uh, spoke to the owner and, uh, and started the negotiations that led to a transaction uh, after the factory shut down. And, and to see the transformation that's happened here over those years, the buildup that's gone along the, the waterfront, uh, the people that have moved in, the jobs that have been created has really been exciting and amazing. Um, and it's been a, a long process. Um, we do have a vision here uh, for create, you know, for completing the rest of the, the buildings that are here. Uh, it's going to create uh, dozens of jobs, long-term, well-paying jobs, besides all the construction jobs. Uh, but these will be good jobs in, in, in the buildings and, and in the retail. And we're certainly going to give priority to, to local people first in terms of providing those jobs. So I think this is going to be great amenities for the, for the city, but as well it will create good jobs and, so, and some affordable housing as well. So overall, a really beautiful project all in.